Hello Vinyl Community, how you doing? It's Bill with the Vinylverse. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to do another Vinyl Grabs video here to show stuff that I've picked up. Uh, going back and in, back into uh, November. Uh, November, December. Um, it's not everything that I've picked up, but I thought I'd show uh, some of the things. Plus a couple gifts. And... Um, and then a little, you know, a couple weeks from now, I'll try to do another vinyl grabs and show some more things. Um, so, gifts. Uh, out of the blue the other day, I received a, a VCLT from Emma over eight mile low. Uh, haven't opened it yet, but uh, I want to share. It is Burt Janch uh, and his 2000 album Crimson, Crimson Moon. Um, this is the 20th anniversary edition reissue available for, for the first time on vinyl. Um, so it's 2020 reissue. Uh, so Emma knew that I wanted to get more Burt Janch into the collection. And uh, she kind of surprised me with this one. So thanks a lot, Emma. I'll be opening this uh, very soon and give it a, give it a listen. Because I only have one other Burt Janch album in my collection and uh that was from the mid 70s so uh definitely excited and looking forward to checking this out so thank you very much emma uh crimson moon by Bert janch then last week i received a package in the mail and it happened to be a christmas gift uh, obviously, it didn't arrive for Christmas. <laughs> uh, the way mail uh, is, has been lately, it came in uh, mid-January, I guess. And this came from anyone who knows him, uh, Steve Carlson. He likes to include doodles in his uh, packages. So this one says Merry Christmas 2020. It's a uh, masked... Santa there. So this is from Steve Carlson. And I was really excited to see this. Uh, and he sent me the 2017 release of Balmeray's uh, Clear Language album. So Balmeray, I think that's how you pronounce it. Balmeray or Balmeray. Um, their 2017 album, Clear Language. Uh, Steve has been talking about Bob Murray for a long time. Um, and actually, uh, Michael Mueller, he is a VC member and his channel is noted in archives. He is a member of this band. Um, they've put out, I don't know, five or six albums or so. Uh, and he's also put out his own solo works. So definitely excited to get this out. I played it, it's wonderful. Uh, kind of, uh, kind of a little bit of everything, minimal, ambient, um, uh, neoclassical, uh, modern classical, really, really wonderful, uh, beautiful music. And, Happy to announce, if you, for those of you familiar, familiar with Bob Murray, uh, that they were just signed to Deutsch Gramophone and they have a release coming out in April. Um, very excited to get that. I have it pre-ordered. Um, so thank you, Steve, so much for sending this. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised that uh, this is what you sent. And those of you not familiar, definitely recommend checking out Bob Marie uh, and their music. Really, really gorgeous stuff. So I mentioned Michael Mueller and his band there, Bob Marie. Uh, this next album I'm going to show, Michael actually showed on his channel. And I, I had wanted this album for a long time, but I didn't know that Acoustic Sounds had put it out again or reissued it it's uh whims of chambers by paul chambers 
So this is a, you know, a Analog Productions um, Blue Note reissue. Uh, really gorgeous. Uh, wonderful album by Paul Chambers, Wombs of Chambers. Um, Paul Chambers, the upright bass, double bass. Um, really terrific album here. And just listen to this lineup. So Donald Byrd on trumpet, John Coltrane on tenor sax, Kenny Burrell on guitars, Horace Silver on piano, of course, Paul Chambers on bass, and on drums you have Philly Joe Jones. So incredible lineup. Um, this originally came out in 1956, and... Uh, not sure the year it was reissued, maybe 2010, 2009, somewhere around there. Uh, but thrilled that Michael showed it and said that Acoustic Sounds uh, had it on their site. Uh, it's Analog Productions. And I don't know how many were press, pressed, uh, but I have number 2002. And I failed to mention that this is a 45 RPM remaster, and it's an excellent uh, copy of this album. Really happy to have it. Um, great one. Moving along here. Um, I don't remember if I showed this or not. I don't think I did. If I did, I'm going to show it again. Uh, so Black Friday Record Store Day. Um, I didn't attend, but I did talk to a lo my local record store here, Siren Records, and they were able to send the one thing that I really wanted uh, out my way. It took a long time to get here. It didn't get here till uh, late December. And that is Jewel Live at uh, Interchange. So Jewel, um, this is 1994, I believe, re recorded. Uh, I believe the recordings are from 1994. Um, this is by Kraft Recordings. And this is uh, Jewel right before she uh, kind of took off. Um, and uh, Interchange Coffee House in San Diego, I believe, yeah, from the legendary San Diego Coffee House Sessions. Um, This is basically um, her debut album, Pieces of, Pieces of You, but her performing it at uh, the Interchange Coffee House. And it is uh, fantastic. Um, they did a really great job with this release here. Here's a uh, replica, replica, uh, replica of the little flyers that she used to put out announcing her shows yeah, so this is from July 28th, 29th, 1994. Um, some cool artwork on the inner sleeves pictures. So definitely excited to have, uh, have this in the collection. Uh, and the pressing is great too. Craft Recordings did a really, really good job. Um, you know, so it's acoustic, um, you know, just Jewel and her acoustic guitar, and it's, uh, really, really well done. So the recordings are great. Uh, moving along, this is Passing Through by the new, um, new Amazing Chico Hamilton Quintet on Impulse. This is a stereo recording from 1963. Yeah, 1963. Um, the Impulse catalog number is A29. This is a stereo copy. Really, really beautiful condition, this copy here. Um, so Chico, Chico Hamilton, the uh, great drummer. Um, this album is really great. Uh, on it you have uh, Gabor Zabo on guitar. Uh, Charles Lloyd on tenor sax and flute, George Bohannon on trombone, and Al Stinson on uh, bass. Um, 
I tell you, Al Stinson on bass, he's a, he's a, he's killer. He's, he's great. Side two on this album is just phenomenal. Really love it and happy that I was able to grab this. Also got a 10 inch here um, from 1956. This is uh, J and Kai. So J.J. Johnson and Kai Winding. Um, this is on Columbia. This is in really, really exceptional condition too for being from 1956 uh, on the Columbia 6i label there. <clears throat> Got this and uh, the Chico Hamilton from a um, couple auctions that I won from Carolina Soul down in uh, North Carolina. So, uh, cool stuff there. Um, so on this you have, of course, uh, Jay and Kai on both, both on trombones, and then you have Dick Katz on piano, Milton Hinton on bass, uh, Shadow Wilson on drums, and uh, Candido on bongos during this song, Caribbean. Uh, so this is find. The next couple uh, I found at a local store, Joys and Toys. I've talked about them before. I sometimes head over there on my lunch break from work. I can usually get over there and back within an hour and dig a little bit. Um, so I was um, thrilled, really thrilled to find this. Uh, Buddy Guy, a man and the blues. Um, wonderful Buddy Guy album here. This is on Vanguard. This is an original. It's the Vanguard Inner. The Vanguard label. Really, uh, really... First of all, it was, uh, it was very, very inexpensive, and um, I was just stunned when I saw it. This is the type of thing I don't expect to find, and then when I come across it, I'm uh, kind of blown away. So, uh, yeah, thrilled to have found uh, Buddy Guy, A Man in the Blues. Also, that day... I found um, from 1974 on Atlantic. It's the art ensemble of Chicago Fanfare for the Warrior Warriors. So I don't have it. I didn't have any art ensemble of Chicago in my collection. Um, I've sampled them several times. Um, I know they get very free and. Um, Yeah, I not knowing what the music was on this, I just pulled the trigger. Um, so it was a very, very cool find. Um, and again, on the Atlantic label, and uh, really uh, reasonably priced. So did not pay a lot for this at all. So. I was not going to leave it there, and uh, happy that I picked it up. Okay, next. Um, McCoy Tyner, The Real McCoy. This is uh, one of the first releases of the Blue Note Classic Series. The Classic Series kind of replaced the 80th Anniversary Series. Um, so really uh, great pressings, audiophile, audiophile vinyl reissues, uh, mastered from the original analog tapes, mastered by Ke Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio, uh, manufactured at Optimal on 180 gram vinyl. So um, real great quality here. And this is a terrific McCoy Tyner album, The Real McCoy. Um, 
Joe Henderson on tenor sax, McCoy Tyner on piano, Ron Carter on bass, and Elvin Jones on the drums. So this was 1967, and um, just a fantastic album. And some of my favorite players of all time on this album, McCoy Tyner, Joe Henderson, Elvin Jones, and Ron Carter. Um, so over the next year, you'll be seeing a lot of these uh, Blue Note Classic Series and uh, Blue Note Tone Poet Series being added to the collection. <laughs> Um, can't help myself. They, they're such a, they do such a great job with the pressings. And of course the music is just uh, terrific. Okay, the next two um, came from Instagram posts by Permanent Records in LA. Um, I, I kind of browse them. Um, at night sometimes and this one night I happened to uh, dib you put your dibs in on uh, if you see something that they post and I happened to put uh, two dibs in and I got them both the first is through the looking glass by Midori Takata um, from 1983 this is a 2020 reissue I first became aware of this album through the looking glass by Midori Takata through Alex and his channel, uh, Motoric247. Um, Alex, earlier, well, in 2020 at some point, he, I believe, if, if I'm remembering correctly, it was in 2020, he uh, scored an original copy of this album. He talked very highly of this album, um, and um, prompted me to sample it, and I really enjoyed it as well. Really soft and beautiful, um, ambient, uh, minimal, um, kind of classical, I guess. Um, really, really, really great. Um, I was concerned, or, or, that's not the right, right way to put it. I was, uh, I, when I uh, dibbed on this from Permanent Records, I knew I was taking a chance because I know some of the reissues, um, being that this is uh, quieter, softer music, um, people were complaining of uh, some background noise, surface noise, some uh, clicks and pops here and there. Uh, but this reissue um, from this year is really quiet, and uh, I'm really happy I pulled the trigger. Um, really, really wonderful. Marimba, um, it's electronic, it's... Um, yeah, really wonderful. It's electronic, it's quiet it's uh marimba um really wonderful stuff here uh definitely worth uh checking out if uh if you're curious and really cool artwork there too by um illustration by he Yo yoko ochita um there's the and label. So, uh, yeah, stoked to have picked this one up. Also has a uh, insert. So, Through the Looking Glass by Dory Takata. Also, uh, from Permanent Records, that, that same night that I got the Through the Looking Glass, um, a reissue of Agitation Free's Malesh album. Um, so, as, I've, as you've seen before and as I've talked about, I'm very much diving into Krautrock and the whole German Prague scene. 
agitation free was definitely uh, very much part of that. Um, this is their 1972 album. This uh, was reissued in 2019. Um, really, um, uh, really terrific. I have never owned anything by Agitation Free before, no CDs or records or anything, so I was really happy I pulled the trigger on this one. Um, this album is, is great. Uh, a lot of um, Middle Eastern themes throughout this album. Um, but really, really wonderful. So, Agitation Free, Moles from 1972. Great, great stuff there. Okay, um, Impulse, the label, record label Impulse, they had a sale um, not too long ago and I decided to pull the trigger finally on The Comet Is Coming and this is their 2019 album, The Trust in the Life Force of Deep... Trust in the Life Force of the Deep Mystery. Um, I was a little late to this album. Um, but I wasn't going to pass it up with that sale from Impulse. Uh, so really happy that I grabbed this one. So this is... Um, this is kind of like modern electronic... Um, jazz uh I'm, i see on discogs they they call it future jazz um that's a good term for it really uh great really really wonderful i'm uh happy to have finally picked up this album like i said i'm late to the party on this one it's been out a couple years and just getting around to it now So the comet is coming, the life force, trust in the life force of the deep mystery. Really uh, wonderful album. Okay, and lastly, um, I picked up a uh, original master recording, and this one is Elvis Costello with Burt Bacharach, painted from memory. Um, this originally came out in 1998. I had the CD from back when it first came out. Uh, really beautiful, beautiful music from uh, Elvis Costello and Burt Bacharach. So um, I um, saw that it had come back into print and uh, wanted to pick it up. And you can see here, Super Vinyl, Mofi. Terrific stuff. Yeah. Don't hear much about this album, but I've always really enjoyed it, and this pressing is really wonderful. Sounds um, sounds really great, uh, really quiet. And for an album like this, you need it to be really quiet, and it's just beautiful. So, um, yeah, happy to have grabbed that one. So, that is going to do it for my first um, Final Grabs video f uh, this year, 2001, 2021. Um, I have more to show. Um, I just didn't want this to be overly long. It looks like it might, might be anyway. But, uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you all are doing well. Um, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out this video i appreciate your continued support and i always appreciate the comments down below in the comment section so it's good to chat with you all there um yeah thanks again for watching and everyone be safe uh stay well and i will see you again soon take care now bye